I'm Shawnee, and you're watching It's Style Theory. Okay, so let me just start by saying this episode is definitely going in like my top five, um, possibly even my favorite episode, because I love this episode. Yeah, I thought it was really great. We got so many answers. I feel like we got so many answers. A lot of characters that I like came back, Arya's mom, Jason. I just like this episode. There were a lot of cute moments. As always, I'm going to do an episode review and then I'm going to talk about it. So this episode starts off with Spencer running through the forest in her bridal gown and um, like it's really scary because there's someone else there and it seems like she's following them and then like some we hear a noise and she like stops and she's shocked and then it goes it goes back to 48 hours earlier. So the girls are meeting at the cafe talking about Paige, a note she wrote, the idea of Allie's mom being A and who could be in Allie's grave. Then Emily and Spencer see Jason outside of the cafe and he just totally ignores them and when they get in Spencer's car there's a note from A um, with a whole bunch of pictures of a blonde girl but the face is um, blacked out and the note says something like, you know me Spencer, you killed me. It definitely looked really similar to Allison. Arya's mom surprises her with the fact that she's back, which I'm so excited about. I love Arya's mom. She's like my favorite mom on the show. Did anyone else notice the fact that Arya's hair changed colors like in the middle of the episode? It went, it totally, I went back to the beginning to check this. It totally went from brown to black, just in the middle of the episode. So Hannah's mom is working for Mrs. De Laurentiis now and she's working on the bridal event and Hannah tells her mom that she doesn't think they should trust Mrs. De Laurentiis. Later on, when Ashley's at Mrs. D's house, she just wanders into, I think that was Allison's room, she wanders into Allison's room and she sees a bag and inside are clothes that are teenage girls clothes and they were just bought. It seemed totally believable for me, but I'm just saying that it seemed a little out of character for Ashley to do something like that, like wandering into a room looking for stuff. But, I mean, it was totally believable. Um, it was just, she's never done anything like that before, really, that we've seen. Um, but then, of course, Allie's mom catches her, and she doesn't even try to hide the fact that she's mad. Like, basically, that whole episode, Allie's mom was mad. She was mad at Ashley. She was mad at Detective Holbrook. She was mad at Spencer. She was mad at the caterers on the phone. So, Paige and Emily talk in the bathroom, and Paige still isn't sorry for what she did. Is it just me, or does Paige seem like she's hiding something, or like, seem a little stranger than usual lately? Um, I don't think she's on the A-team, because it seems like it would be too obvious with the, like, with the whole alley thing that she pulled in the last episode. Yeah, it seems like she's acting a little weirder than usual. And do you guys believe that she was, like, spending time with her grandparents? I mean, I've always been suspicious of Paige, but, yeah, I don't really know what she might have to do with all of this. Hannah runs into Travis at school and he still seems a little mad about the date. So Detective Holbrook goes to Mrs. De Laurentiis' house and tells her that they have they have the judge's permission to look at the body in Allison's grave because um, he was looking at a picture that she gave them um, and in the picture Allie has a broken arm when she's little. Like when the autopsy was done I guess they didn't see that there was a broken arm. So yeah. Mrs. D really makes it obvious that she doesn't want them to look at the body, but why? I have some theories, I'm going to talk about that later. I think Ashley tells Hannah about um, the whole bag of clothes that she found in Allie's room, and so Hannah signs the other four girls up for the bridal thing and stuff so they can look for clues on where Allie might be because they think her mom might have her address or something. Emily ends up talking to Jason and she finds out that Mrs. D is really out to get Spencer. They think he might be lying, of course, but we know he's not because we saw his flashback. Because of that flashback, we now know that Allie's mom knows about A, and, well, maybe not about A, but that someone was texting Allison. So, Dean comes in to find Spencer sleeping on her couch, and so he goes over to talk to her, and she doesn't want to talk about what she's upset about and stuff, and so he reads to her. But apparently they fell asleep reading or something because when Mrs. Hastings comes in later that night, um, <laughs> Dean is like asleep on Spencer. You guys all saw it. Um, I think, at least I think you did. Um, okay, is it just me or was that like one of the cutest moments in the whole show? Okay, definitely up there on the cute moments list. Anyway, Dean gets fired, of course. I really liked Dean. It seems like it's now that... It seems like Spencer was just starting to like him too. Arya and her mom have an argument. Arya like, she's mad that her mom hasn't been there and 
Basically, she says that she shouldn't have gone on the trip in the first place, even though she's the one that told her to. So the girls meet for coffee again, and they're talking about Allison right when Detective Holbrook comes up. Thank God he didn't hear them, at least I think he didn't hear them. Spencer finally gets some answers from her mom about the summer that she forgot things. But what this makes me think is that Mrs. Hastings doesn't know about Spencer hitting Allison with the shovel because if she did, it seems like that would be the biggest memory that she remembers, not some random other episode that Spencer had. So it seems like maybe she doesn't know about that. Um, but another thing about that scene, the fact that Spencer's mom used the words evil twin um, when she was talking, it may mean something. It could mean a lot of things or it could mean nothing, but if it means something, what if it means that Spencer has a twin? I've been thinking about this for a while. It, th it seems like this theory is really unlikely, but I was thinking, what if Spencer is the one that has a twin? I don't really, I don't really want to go there. I just want to. Mainly, I'm rooting for the Alley twin theory. That's the main theory I believe in. But I think the fact that she said evil twin in this episode may be a big foreshadowing for the fact that there is a set of twins in the show. I swear. Am I the only one that thinks the creepiest episodes in the show are when we see that Mrs. D is looking at them through the window? God, that is just so creepy. So at the bridal event, Travis and Hannah make up. Arya's mom comes to the bridal event and they have a moment and they make up and she announces that she's getting married. What? Then at the event, Spencer runs into Jason and he actually stops to talk to her. And uh, yeah, we get some more answers out of him. Um, and then Dean shows up to say goodbye, and I was just, I'm just so sad that he's leaving, because I like Dean, I like his character, and I don't understand why he has to leave, like, can't the writers just make him stay? Anyway, Dean tells us that the rehab facility that Jason was supposedly at hasn't been open for two years, so Jason was definitely lying about that. Spencer says Mrs. D hands a suitcase to somebody in, like, the bushes in her backyard, and Spencer goes, like, Okay, so apparently Allie has this giant forest in her backyard that I never knew about, first of all. Second of all, Spencer goes into the forest and, um, why, why was there a forest there? I'm just not realizing this. Like, has there always been a forest in her backyard? Like, it seemed like a, like, it seemed like a forest, not just a little park. It seemed like a forest. Or maybe it was just nighttime, and so I couldn't really see. Anyway, Spencer goes in there, which I thought was stupid, and also a little smart at the same time, because the person could have been A, and actually I think it was A. There was some kind of trap or something, and it catches her dress, and, and by the time she gets back, she's all shaken up and stuff, and she kept tripping and stuff, and I, I thought she, I kept thinking she was gonna get, like, in big trouble for getting that dress that dirty, but they never showed that, so thank god. Yeah, inside of Spencer's dress, they find finger bones, which was disgusting, and a note from A. Then the most exciting part of the episode for me, Allie calls Emily, and they're like, Allie, your mom knows you're alive, and she's like, you can't tell her anything, she can't know anything. But she tells them where they can meet her and how she's in Philadelphia. And so we finally know where she is. And so they all get ready to go and stuff after the event. Emily and Paige break up. You know, I was rooting for them for a long time, but then lately Paige just started being, not annoying, but just like doing things that were getting on my nerves. Like, And like I said, I've always suspected her a little bit. So them breaking up made me happy, but also a little worried because we've seen Paige get angry before. And then the cliffhanger that they decided to leave. So the girls um, arrive at the building where Allie is apparently hiding out. They're like just about to open this door that Allie might be behind. And then they turn around and somebody's there and they're like, what are you doing here? And of course we don't get to see who it is because they have to end it right there. They can just show us. And then we see A at either a restaurant or a hotel and Cece's name is on the guest list, I think. And A calls the police. So that was the episode. That cliffhanger made me so mad. But um, but I have a few guesses about who they might have seen. So my guesses are the person they saw in the end was my most likely guess is that it was Shauna. Um, and I I want it to be Shauna because she's the only other one that they could basically trust right now. It could have been Paige because maybe she followed them. She was right there when they left. Could have been Mrs. D for a lot of reasons. Um, or it could have been Mona. By the way, they said, what are you doing here? It kind of seemed like it was someone they hadn't really seen in a while. So, I loved this episode.
For one, we learned so much. We learned that Allie's mom definitely knows she's alive. We learned that Allie doesn't want her mom to know anything. Mrs. D is definitely out to get Spencer. Jason wasn't in rehab. Spencer did a lot of things that summer that she doesn't remember at all. Ezra left his teaching position. We know that Jason and Allie's mom know about A. We know where Allie is finally. We know so much. I, like, have we ever gotten this many answers in any episode? Like, I'm not even sure. So, Jason probably isn't working with Mrs. D, if you ask me. Because if he was, why would he have taken the time to listen to Spencer? And why would he have told her those things? I don't think he would be working with Mrs. D and like just tell the girls all that stuff. But then if he wasn't at rehab, where was he? And why did he lie about it? The fact that the detectives now think Allie's alive is huge. Like for the longest time, we didn't even think Allie's alive. And now like the police think she's alive. And it's like such a relief because it means we have people in power actually looking for her. Oh my god, that literally scared me so bad. That scene where Detective Holbrook talks to Ali's mom, obviously they're trying to make us think, which is good. I'm gonna actually say my opinion on the scene. So I have this kind of idea now that maybe Ali's mom was like not the kind of person that we think she was. Maybe she was like not crazy, but like crazy. That's why Ali doesn't want her to know that she's alive. And if the twin theory is real, maybe she like favored one twin over the other and like what if Spencer killed the twin that she favorited and she's mad that Allie's the one that survived and stuff. Like what if that's like what's going on here? Because why would she not, I mean I know she already knows Allie's alive and stuff, but like why would she not want them to look at the body? Was it like not, and then if it wasn't Allie's twin, who was it? Like, and maybe she knows, and maybe she has something to do with that whole thing, and she's gonna get in trouble for it. Like, I don't know. It seems like she's definitely hiding something, and it seems like she's definitely... It's so hard for me to put my thoughts to words right now, but hopefully you get, like, what I'm trying to say. She wouldn't be the person sending texts to her own daughter, right? So then, maybe there are two A-teams? Like, some people have this idea that there are two different A-teams and, like, two different A's. Okay, the last thing I have to say is, if the twin theory is real, which it's looking more and more like with each episode, I think Jason knows. So please leave your theories below. What did you guys think of this episode? Um, oh my god. So the next one's the season finale. Crazy. Allie tells all, apparently. I hope she really does tell all, and I'm not just saying that. Um, I'm super excited. Um, so I will see you guys in my next video. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe because I upload PLL reviews every Thursday. And if you watch Scandal, I upload Scandal reviews every Saturday. I upload videos five days a week. So check out my other videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, can you keep a secret? Hey, I'm Shawnee. And you're watching It's Style Theory. So since it's almost St. Patrick's Day, I decided to make a video showing you guys how to make three different green treats. I'm going to show you how to make green rice crispy treats, a lime sherbet float, and Lucky Charms bars.